In this video, we are going worldwide. We're going to be talking about the International Accounting Standards Board. Welcome to Accounting How To. I'm your host, Carolyn Grimm. That's my sidekick, the very cosmopolitan Mr. Terrence T. Rex. We're here to put the fun in accounting fundamentals, or at least make it a little less dull, if that's at all possible, talking about IASB. So in the United States, our financial accounting standards are issued by the Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB. The international business community has its own version called the International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. So where the U.S. has GAAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, the international business community has IFRS, International financial reporting standards. And although there are many similarities, there are some differences between IFRS and GAAP. So GAAP is rule-based and IFRS is principles-based. So what does that mean? It means that IFRS leaves more room for interpretation. GAAP is rules-based, you must do this. IFRS says, this is our guidance and you can take it from there. You can interpret that as you see fit, within reason. So under IFRS, companies have more leeway in how they interpret the principles. And then because they're interpreting principles, what they're going to do is they're going to use long disclosures on their financial statements to explain, this is how we did it, and this is why we did it. And they're going to do that for every interpretation that they make. Now, the purpose of, of IFRS is to maintain stability and transparency in the global business market. It's the standard in the European Union and many Asian and South American companies. Now, having the U.S. switch to IFRS is discussed pretty regularly, um, but for the foreseeable future, we continue to use GAAP. So when the U.S. is doing business globally, there's always going to be some differences in the rules that the U.S. uses versus the principles that IFRS uses. For example, costing of inventory. Under GAAP, we can use FIFO, first in, first out, LIFO, last in, first out, or weighted average cost. But under IFRS, companies are not permitted to use LIFO. So if we have a company in the U.S. that's using LIFO for their inventory basis, when we're talking about them operating globally, there are going to be some differences in the way that GAAP or IFRS are applied. So there may need to be some disclosures in financial statements where we say we use LIFO, but under IFRS, we would use FIFO. So this is what the amount of our inventory would be. But the whole purpose of the international accounting standards is so that the international business community has um, a set of rules that applies to everybody, and that allows them to apply those rules consistently wherever they're doing business. Until next time, stay balanced, my friends.